let's look at this set. There are only four companies, namely PQRS, that manufacture shirts in the market. The shirts manufactured by these companies are made of one or the other five types of fabrics, namely silk, cotton, linen, khadi, and polyester. The following pie charts provide the information about the number of shirts of each type of fabrics manufactured by a company. This is a percentage of total number of shirts manufactured by that company. Okay. The following table provides the information about the number of linen shirts manufactured by each of the companies as a percentage of total number of linen shirts manufactured by all the companies. So this first paragraph gives us description of this and this second smaller paragraph gives us information about the second table. Our first go to move has to be to create a table to capture the first uh, set of pie charts. We have polyester, Adi, linen, cotton, and silk, and the total P, Q. Sorry, this is too small. I'm making slightly larger cells so that all the information can be captured appropriately. P, Q, R, and S. Okay. Let's record it. Polyester, Adi, Linen, Cotton, and Silk, and Total. And then we have uh, P, and Q, and R, and S. Let's go ahead. Let's write all of it down. 16 and 12 and 30 and 8, 24 and 18. Pay attention. I'm writing it in the bottom right corner. I'm leaving the cells huge and keeping space because at, I see within the questions there are absolute numbers also mentioned. So, most likely I would have to engage in further processing in order to arrive at numbers. So, I need to have space available. 22, 12, 15, 15. Sorry, I'm doing it incorrectly because these are data for bar. So, now for Q, I will have 15. 15, 20, 20, and 30. Here it will be 22, 12, 15, 21, and 30. And here this will be 20, 20, 25, 16, and 90. Okay. Now, this is the capturing of first uh, set of pie charts. Now, here we have also been told in the second uh, table of sorts, 25% of total linen shirts is equal to the linen shirts pro produced by P. So, we've been told 30% of P is equal to 25% of linen Similarly, 20% of Q is equal to 25% of linen, which is to say P is to Q would be in the ratio 2 is to 3. P by Q should be equal to 2 by 3. This we know. In the same way, can we go 20% of Q? Okay, so let me do it for R first. 15% of R is equal to 20% of L or R is equal to 4 by 3 L or no, this is not the right way of representing. L is equal to 3 by 4 of R and from here, first one, we can potentially get P is equal to 5 by 6 of L. Q is equal to 5 by 4 of L. R is equal to 4. R is equal to how much? 
4 by 3 of L and the final one for S 25% of S is equal to 30% of L. So S is equal to 6 by 5 of L. So now for L, hopefully you can see L has to be a multiple of 6, L has to be a multiple of 4, and L has to be a multiple of 3, and L has to be a multiple of 5. So 4, 6, 5, 60. I can have it as multiple of 60. So P, the smallest value L can take, the smallest value that the number of shots of linen can take, linen has to be a multiple of 60. We know the total number of linen shirts have to be a multiple of 60 so that the number of shirts created number of linen shirts or the total number of shirts produced everywhere has to be uh, number of shirts produced everywhere is integral. Now if linen is a multiple of 60 or let's say 60x can I say P will be 50x Q will be 75x R will be 80x and S will be 72x. This is known. In addition to that, in addition to that, hopefully you can see, looking at the individual percentage components here, looking at the individual percentage components here, 16 is 4 by 25. So the total number of shirts of P have to be a multiple of 25. Well, is 3 by 25. So total number of shirts of P have to be a multiple of 25. Also has to be a multiple of 10. Also has to be a multiple of 25. Also has to be a multiple of 25. Also has to be a multiple of 50. So using their individual percentage numbers, I can say it has to be a multiple of 50 according to linen also, according to its own individual percentage numbers. Also. According to Q, <coughs> according to Q's individual percentage numbers, I have 3 by 20. I have 3 by 20. I have 1 by 5, 1 by 5 and 3 by 10. So the total number has to be a multiple of 20 also. From here, from R, 22 by 50, so 11 by 50, 3 by 25, 3 by 20, 21 by 100, and 3 by 10. 21 by 100 is interesting because this tells me the total has to be a multiple of 100. And similarly for S, looking at the silk data, I know the total number has to be a multiple of 100 again. Now, using these, using these, what I'm seeing is for S, it has to be a multiple of 100, it has to be a multiple of 72. It has to be a multiple of 100, it has to be a multiple of 72. So the smallest possible number that S can take, the smallest possible number that S can take or the total number of shirts manufactured by S will be LCM of 172. LCM of 172 will be 72 into 25, which is equal to 1800. And this, so minimum, minimum count. Total I'm writing as minimum. This will be 1800. And see, this is 80 is to, um, 80 is to 25, uh, sorry, 10 is to 9. If this is 1800, minimum count here should be 2000. This 16 is to 15. This divided by 16 will be how much? 25. No, not 25. 125. 125. 125. 125 into 75. I'll worry about it later. Here I'll go. First I'll go 5 is to 8. So this minimum will be 1250. And then here I have 2 is to 3. So this will be 1875. These are the minimum counts. These are the minimum counts. In fact, I can go ahead and say the differences or the numbers, absolute numbers of production for each of these four variations, each of these four companies, companies is going to be in ratio of these numbers only. It will be like this only. So X becoming one or two or three, this much is known. Also, because this gives me 1800, 25% is 450. Or let's say 
S is equal to 6 by 5 of L. 6 by 5 of L. We know there will be 1500 linen shots created. 1500x linen shots created. We can get fill up the entire table. We can fill up the entire table, but we don't really need to do that based on the questions given. For which of the companies, the total number of shirts manufactured by it is the second largest among these companies. The largest is for R, the second largest is for Q. So Q wins. Next, what is the minimum possible number of shirts that should have been manufactured by all the companies taken together? Minimum number of shirts manufactured by all the companies taken together. Let's see. Now, the number that I will be getting here, the number that I will be getting here is this. Let us add these up. I have 50 and 75. So 25, one carried over. 18 plus 18 is 36. 36 plus 21 is 57. 57 plus 20 is 69. So 6925. Minimum number of shirts manufactured by all the four companies together is 6925 or option A. Option A. What is the problem with this? Ah. I see a problem with this. I see a problem with this because look at this. According to their individual numbers, this has to be a multiple of 50. This had to be a multiple of 20. In order for this to be a multiple of 20, 1875 needs to be multiplied by 4 more. So I can't really stop here. I have to multiply this by 4. So this will turn to 5000x. This I will have to get rid of this also. This will multiply by 4 to give me 7500x. This will multiply to give me 8000x. And this will multiply to give me 7200x. Okay. These are the real minimum values. Okay. So now if I'm looking at the summation, Q was proving to be a problem because 15% is 3 by 20. Previously, I had 1875. 3 by 20 of 1875 would not be integral. So that is a challenge. When we add these up, again, these are uh, these are obtained by simply multiplying by 4. So 6925 into 4, I have to do. 6925 into 4 will get me to 5 into 4 is 0. 2 carried over. So 0 again. 1 carried over. So 7, 3 carried over. So 27, 700. Or option C will be the right answer, not option A. Thankfully, I caught it. Next, each of the two acha that also tells me linen will now be 6000x. Linen will now be 6000x. Okay. Each of the two companies Q and S sell shirts manufactured by them at rupees 10 above the cost price. Okay. Yeah. 10 above the cost price. So, if the difference between the profit generated by the companies is rupees 15,000. See, number of shirts, difference in number of shirts is 300x, QNS, 300x. Difference in number of shirts is 300x. And this into 10 is giving me 15,000 as a difference. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or x is equal to 5. We are working with 5 now. Then what is the difference between the number of polyester shirts manufactured by company P? 16% of 5000x. 16% will be 800x. 800x. And that by R. 22% of... So... 22% of 8,000. So I will get 880x. Let me do the maths. 22 into 80. 1760x. Okay. So this will be 
1760x. We know x is equal to 5. We know x is equal to 5. What is the difference between the number of polyester shirts manufactured by company P and R? 1760x minus 800x. The difference is 960x. And x turns out to be equal to 5. So 960 into 5, this should be equal to 4800. Or option A should be the right answer. Now the last question. If the ratio of the profit generated by sale of one khadi shirt to the sale of one cotton shirt by the company R is 3 is to 4. Khadi and cotton. So 12% will be 960x. And cotton, one-fifth of this is 160, 1680. 1680x. For sake of completion, I will also go ahead and do 1200x and 2400x. Hmm. If the ratio of profit generated by sale of one khadi shirt to the sale of one cotton shirt by the company is 3 to 4, then the ratio of profit generated by company R by selling all the cotton shirts to the profit generated by selling all the khadi manufactured shirts is. Number of shirts will be 960x into profit ratio is 3y. And on the other hand, we have 1680x into 4y. And this is useless. These numbers are useless. x gone, y gone, y gone, y gone. And uh, I could have simply done it 12 into 21. This gives me 12. This gives me 21. This gives me 3. This is gone. And then this 3 and this 21 cancel out to give me the final ratio. 3 is to 7. 3 is to 7. Is this not correct? Then the ratio of profit generated by... Oh, ho, 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 ho. I have made a terrible mistake. I have fallen for the simplest of traps. See this. The ratio of profit generated by company R by selling all the cotton shirts. So cotton shirts profits would be 21% of 8,000 into 4 by 12% uh, of 4,000 into 3. This is the ratio we are seeking. So this cancels, this cancels to give me 3. This cancels, this cancels to give me 7. The final answer should be 7 by 3. Although in the table it is khadis to cotton, finally what they're asking is cotton shirts to all the khadi shirts. So answer should be 7 by 3. This option here was given as a distraction or as a bait if somebody wants to make an error. Otherwise, the correct answer to this question has to be option D. And that is the entirety of this set. There is a lot of number-based processing, the minimum case possible, all that work one has to do. But if you do it appropriately, you should be able to arrive at your answer. Mm -hmm.